Hey family, it's Josh, and in this video, I'm going to talk about three signs that you are ready to be upgraded. Before I get into my points, I want to first say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my new channel, The Ezzy Life. I hope you're gaining value from it, and I just want to say I appreciate it. For those who clicked on this video, and I'm new to you, my name is Joshua Ezzy, and my goal is to help you make sense of your life, and, and, and I hope after watching this video, you find value from um, this channel, and I hope it inspires you to subscribe and hit that bell, and I would love to have you a part of my family here online. But before before I get into my three points, God did something very amazing for me this week. I've experienced an upgrade, and, and in experiencing this upgrade, um, I, I saw or experienced these three points that I'm about to give you. So go ahead and get a paper, go ahead and get a pen, and be ready, and get yourself ready um, to write down these three points, because I believe these three points will help position you to be upgraded. But the number one thing that I saw during my experience, and I believe will help you position yourself to be upgraded, is... You must be faithful over a little. In order to be positioned to be upgraded, you must um, be a steward over the little. What are the little things in your life that you're overlooking? Because whatever you overlook now, you'll be forced to look at later. Whatever you do not address in your life right now will undress you later. And most people are desiring much. They want the big things, but they're not faithful over the little things. The growth is in the details. How invested are you in the detail aspects of your life? If you want to be upgraded into marriage, upgraded in with money or upgraded in management ability, you must be a manager of the little. It's the little things that determines the growth of the things. The Bible talks about the little fox that spoils the vine. The little things that you overlook, the little things that you're not protected against will be the very little thing that will strip the life out of your vine, strip the life in a nutrients and a source by which you are able to produce fruit from you. That's why in order to position yourself to be upgraded, you must manage the little. Are you faithful over a little? Why would anyone give you much? Or why would God give you much if you're not managing the little? The Bible talks about how can you expect something of your own if you can't take care of another man's? If you can't take over this level, you're not ready to be upgraded to the next level. The second thing that I experienced this past week that I know will inspire you to position yourself to be upgraded or a sign that you're ready to be upgraded, you've endured persecution. You endured persecution. If you can't handle the heat on this level, how are you going to be able to operate in stamina at the next level? Every level has a set heat to it. And you have to be familiar with it. You have to be um, pe uh, peculiar with it. And what I mean by peculiar, you have to become different out of it. You have to be able to endure persecution and ridicule. People are going to talk about you. People are going to look at you and say, well, where, why haven't you got there yet? Or, or what are you doing with your life? You're going to have a myriad of questions come your way. But you have to welcome the persecution. You must welcome the ridicule or you're not ready to be upgraded. You heard the saying, new levels, new devils. And instead of trying to aspire to go to another level where there's new devils, you got to be a master man, a mastermind and a master person at this level. I'm telling you, every level that you elevate to has a heat to it. And if you're not able to endure the heat at this level, the persecution at this level, you're not going to handle it at this level. You think the demons are bad? You think the uh, ridicule and persecution is bad in singleness? Wait till you're married. Because every level you aspire to get to, that's new rules to that league. If you play ball in high school, cool. When you get to college, there's new rules. The game is different. Each level from middle school, high school, um, college, and the pros, there's different levels to it. And if you can't handle the coaching here, if you can't handle the pressure here, if you can't handle the traps down here, if you can't handle it at these other levels, you're not going to be ready to be upgraded at this level. The reason why God is allowing time to breathe in your life and it feels like, man, Josh, I've been going through this season for a long period of time. You must understand it's seasons that makes you season. God called us the salt of the earth. We're supposed to preserve. And if you are not able to endure, if you're not able to endure seasons, you won't be the seasoning you need to be to preserve the people in your life. Another sign that you are ready to be upgraded is that you've endured a person at this level. You don't even mind it. It comes with the territory. The third sign that you're ready to be upgraded is this. You're not looking for it. You're not looking for it. So many people, the reason why they're not ready to be upgraded, they're looking for the upgrade. 
They're going into different stores looking for opportunities. They're going into different situations looking for opportunities. They're looking forward and not looking upward. Unfortunately, most people are setting themselves up to go backwards because there's too focused on going forward. In order to make sure that you're going forward well, you must look upward. Word of God says that promotion doesn't come from the east or from the west. It comes from above. You know you're ready to be upgraded when you don't mind looking upward. But if you keep looking forward and you keep looking for it, you're going to waste your working time. You got to turn your waiting room into a working room. You got to turn your, your looking at the watch into looking and watchful and being alert and being a steward over your sight, being a steward over your time. Another sign that you're ready to be upgraded, my friend, <laughs> you're not looking for it. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. When you look for it, it runs away. But when you're not looking for it, it's looking for you. When you seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, everything else will follow you. Instead of, it's crazy how people are looking for the right thing, but they're not looking towards the right person. They're looking for all these things to be added to their life, but they're not welcoming the one that was added to them for their salvation of their soul. Three signs that you're ready to be upgraded. Number one, you're faithful over little. Number two, You've endured persecution. And number three, what's my number three? You're not looking for it. Now let's get to my testimony. This past week, God upgraded me. And it was such a significant upgrade to the point to where I was just stunned. For years, man, I've, what you would say, number one, I was faithful over a little. This little thing in my life, man, was was like a thorn in my side, man. I was ridiculed for it. Uh, people talked about me. People ridiculed me. They was like, um, Josh, you should have already upgraded. They they looked at me and was like, you're such a massive person and you have such this big persona. Why are you still at this level? And, and, and it's unfortunate how many times you're getting picked on about the level that you're on. Don't despise the level that you're on. Be faithful at this level. And for four to five years, I was faithful at this level. And, and, and there was nights that was tough. I mean, there was moments where it was tough. That when I was engaging with this little thing in my life, man, I was like, man, when is it going to be my time, God? Everyone else is getting promoted. It seemed like every year around this time, everybody's getting a new upgrade. And I'm like, God, what about me? I'm your man. I'm the one preaching your gospel day in and day out. It's time for me to be upgraded. But even in those moments, God looked at me and said, Josh, my grace is sufficient. People talked about me. No matter where I was, I was afraid to show this area of my life because I knew if I showed this area of my life that people will say, man, Josh, like what's going on with you? I've endured persecution, but to God be the glory, man, he upgraded me. But also with this upgrade, I wasn't looking for it. And, and that's why I want to share with you so passionately that, that you don't have to look for the upgrade. If you look for the one that's up, if you look to him, I'm telling you, he'll elevate you. But this past week, God upgraded me from a 5S to an 11. I'm telling you, God is a good God. He upgraded me from a little phone. That's why I tell you, I was faithful over a little and he made me a ruler over much. Man, I have endured persecution. Kids in middle school, when I was in, at, at my old school, at the elementary school, kids with their little eight pluses and, and not, not nines, because they had no nines. They had their tens. And man, when I pulled my phone out on the desk like a boss, people was looking at me like, Mr. Ezzy, come on, bro. You can do better. Mr. Ezzy, why you got a 5S when I got it? But I said, bro, but do your phone work, though. See, it's crazy how people will talk about the upgrades, but the upgrades don't work. You see what I'm saying? See, my upgrade, even though it was small, it can make calls. See, I was ridiculed and, and it was I was nervous, but God said, Josh, it's your time. I was minding my own business. And, and one of my family members said, I got you, Josh. It's time for you to be upgraded. And the thing about upgrades with God, though, is that he'll have you skip so many steps. Little old me, I wasn't looking for a five S. You know what I told my wife? I said, babe, I, I'm going to get an eight. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Uh, the dreams, what, what we tell God, and when we tell God our plans, he laughs. And God was like, you want an eight, son? I said, I was like, God, yeah, if I could just get an eight, I think it'd be all right. I think I'd be straight with an eight. But God said, man, I'm going to take you from a five to 11. I skipped the six. With God, I skipped the seven. I skipped the eight. I skipped the nine. No, there's no nine. But in time, I was. I skipped the 10. And now God upgraded me to 11. I just want to say God is good. And, and, and he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. 
And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter where you are looking for an upgrade. Your plans are small in the eyes of a guy with purpose. Comment below. Let me know y'all's upgrades. <laughs> and I hope these three points really encouraged you. I know it was comical, but I hope it gave you some insight. Be faithful over a little. Endure the persecution at this level. And don't go looking for the upgrade. If you keep looking at God and you keep your joy in him and you enjoy the days that he makes for you, I'm telling you, these things will come find you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. And um, I'll be posting vlogs, man. I'll be posting um, the little things on this channel. And I hope you got something for from it. And I'm going to go enjoy my 11 right now. I'm going to go do some vlogging. I got me a little gimbal now. So, so you're going to see some things, but see how in position, how God will say, you know, it is time. And point number four, it must be time for the upgrade. Oh man. It must be time for the upgrade. See, it's not that you're not ready. I had the money. I could have been upgraded. It's not that you're ready because you can be ready, but is it the right time? And now that I've been pivoting, now that I've been transitioning, God said, it is no longer good for you to have a 5S. You got to get to a place that you're faithful naming your animals that when you're done with an assignment of this season, God will say it is no longer good for you to have this level of, of operation. God said, Josh, you can't do much with this little. You've been faithful over it. But now I'm about to take your, from yourself from a 720 to some 4K action. So let me go, man, because you can't you can't put stuff around a preacher because a preacher gonna preach. I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.